The second adjustment says to apply any adjustment layer in combination or in conjunction with a layer mask so that the adjustment only applies to part of the layer, creating a foreground background contrast. And so I already did that for the first demo video, and so I used that to get rid of the background, but you don't have to use it in that sense. So we could do it uh, so that the change only applies to certain parts of the image. And so let's pick a different image for this to apply to. Let's go with this one with the clogs. We'll save this as Lesson 11B. Go ahead and open it in Photoshop. That's not what I meant to hit. And then now I want to desaturate everything except for the red clog. And so if I apply a black and white adjustment layer and modify it, because that's kind of one of my favorite things to do. I always kind of like the red one. Oh, I actually don't like the red one in this case. Let's try the regular red one. Well, let's go with that. Um, but what I want is I want to be able to see the color of the one shoe. Maybe I'm using it to highlight that one shoe. And so what we can do is we can use the layer mask in conjunction with the layer. And you can either do what I'm going to do here and you can paint the color back into the image. And so I am painting on the layer mask. And everywhere I paint with red, the red will start to show through again. And I've got a big soft edge to my brush. And so you can just kind of come through and paint the color back in where you want the color to be. And then you can highlight the one clog. Or if you're being a little bit more proactive than I was, you can make a selection of the red clog first. And then when you create your layer mask, it'll automatically know that you want the changes just to occur to certain parts of the image.